floor to my colleague and great friend from Texas or Wyoming, whichever chooses to speak. Well, uh, I thank the uh, senator from Tennessee and Mr. President. I would just say that, you know, it's interesting because there are four of us on the floor right now. Uh, senator from Wisconsin, the senator from Tennessee, the, tennis the senator from Wyoming, and myself. We have one thing in common. Every one of us have run a business. Every one of us were in business before we came to the United States Senate. So we know when we're talking about new taxes, which is all we hear from the administration, that new taxes are not going to help this economy grow because our small businesses are scared to death out there. I know because I've heard the senator from Tennessee and the, ten the senator from Wisconsin who came straight out of a business who ran for the United States Senate because he was so frustrated in business. We know that small business people out there today are looking at the increased taxes that are already in place with the Obamacare added taxes and surtaxes that have already been passed by the Democrats in Congress without one single Republican vote, those taxes are already on board to increase. Plus, you've got the fines that they're facing if they don't have the government prescribed plan for the Obama health care plan. They're going to have to pay fines on top of the surtaxes to pay for the bill that they're not going to be able to use. And then, they're looking at the, the regulations that are coming out of this administration, and they're saying, and Congress wants to spend another trillion dollars this year into deficits? Because every one of us knows that we are looking at hitting the debt ceiling again over $16 trillion this fall. Because this administration will not even consider lower taxes and lower spending levels. So I look at all of us on the floor right now who have been in business, who've run a business, who have met that payroll, who have met the regulatory environment, and I think, why on earth don't we listen to the small business people of this country in this body and do what they do every year? pass a budget. You know, the senator from Wyoming is here, and I would just ask if he has an idea of when the last time the United States Senate passed a budget resolution? Well, I would, I would tell my colleague uh, uh, from Texas, who has been a leader uh, in this fight, asking for a budget, demanding